Hey girl. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah. Trying to get food scraps. Oh, look at that leg. All operated and fixed. Look at that storm. Alrighty. Yeah, camps. Needs to be operated again. Uh, well, that one needs to be operated as well. I just wanted to make a little video. As you can see Garnet's operated leg. This one is still shaved. Operated on January 29th. Doing great. But you can see this one. Same problem. Torn ligaments. Um, but uh, we're closing the uh, GoFundMe. And we're just going to take a loan out for the other one. And uh, we're going to pay the 5000 that way. And repay it at the end of the year with like tax money. So, but we, you know, I wanted to update. I wanted to do a little video and have her in the park and everything. But obviously, um, she was recovering very well until mid-April when she started having trouble, you know, going up the stairs and then, you know, started showing uh, signs in her other leg of uh, toe touching, which is like when it looks like her foot is on the ground but there's no pressure on it and if you went under and you just kind of lifted there would be no resistance and uh, and then uh, she just like ran once and yelped and she must have torn that ligament uh, just it's like it's gone now but uh, for TPO surgery doesn't really matter because they're they're replacing the geometry of the knee with like a, a metal hinge instead of like repairing the tendon system on the leg so it doesn't really matter how damaged it is other than you know if she starts walking on it like right now I think because it's such it's so torn she won't put any weight on it but like the other one, uh, the other knee, she was putting some weight on it last year, and she tore her, she damaged her meningus that way, so that had to be like cleared out during the operation. Um, but uh, I think because she's not putting any weight at all on on the other leg now, the one that's now needs to be uh, operated, um, she won't. Uh, like it, it actually won't be as damaged, uh, but we'll see. We've got uh, X-rays on the 18th of May, and then we're gonna, you know, as soon as it's confirmed that it's the same issue uh, that we can't assume, but it's all the same symptoms. Uh, then we're gonna have her scheduled for the operation as soon as it's available with the specialist. Uh, but I like to have a final thank you for everybody who donated and you know everybody who uh, who helped us out with that like 2020 was hard uh, 2021 was starting out pretty good and everything was going good but then you know we had a another 5k operation to pay for um, but after that oh, there's no more rear legs to need TPLO so she should be good for a couple of years and if you follow her on Instagram, uh, once she gets all healed up, I'll start posting again whenever we go on walks and stuff. It's just kind of boring just, you know, having pictures of her laying down like this, being miserable. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much.